Another long workday. Finally, you get in the car, turn on your favorite song, and start driving home. That's when you notice something weird in the rearview mirror. Is that guy following me? You slow down. Maybe they'll pass. Nope. You speed up. They stay on you. Before you get too nervous or annoyed, first, confirm that you are indeed being followed. The easiest way is to make three right turns around the block. Why would someone drive aimlessly around the same buildings? If they're still behind you, raise your suspicions. If you're on the freeway, take the next upcoming exit. But instead of getting off, get right back on the freeway. If the car does the same, it's probably tailing you. If you're in town, go to an automatic car wash. It'll give you a few minutes to calm down and prepare. And if you still see the car around, you have unwelcome company. Now that you've confirmed you are being followed, don't panic. Sounds cliche, but it couldn't be more critical when you're behind the wheel. Panicking while driving is the worst thing you can do. If you need a few minutes to calm down, drive for a bit. Look around and remember where you are. Try to find a safe place you can go to. A popular cafe, a gas station, or a police department are always the best places to keep an eye out for. And definitely, do not drive home. The same rule applies to your work or any relative's houses. Chances are this is just some random person who has no personal information on you. Leading them to your most frequented places where you're more vulnerable will only cause more problems. Don't let yourself get cornered. Avoid cul-de-sacs, small neighborhood roads, ones without an exit, parking lots. All can be dangerous in this situation. Stick to streets you know, so things like that don't take you by surprise. If you're stopped at a traffic light or stop sign, leave some space between you and the car in front of you. Always have a getaway plan if you find yourself in the worst-case scenario. Stay in your car and keep moving. And don't forget to lock all the doors and roll up the windows. It can take mere seconds for someone to get into an unlocked car while it's stopped. If this person rear ends you at a traffic light, don't get out of the vehicle. If they were following you, they probably did that on purpose to get you out. If they approach your car, use that getaway space you left in front of you. Drive to well-populated roads. It's harder for this person to notice or keep following you when there's a lot of cars and witnesses around. Plus, they're more likely to get separated from you by a red line. Most bad guys are scared off by busy areas since their chances of getting caught increase. Don't acknowledge the pursuer. Try not to stare into your mirrors. Don't look behind your shoulder. Don't try to talk. If they only wanted to scare you, they might just give up and drive away. If they know you've noticed them, they could start keeping a further distance, so it'll be harder for you to get the details for the police. This is also a good time to notice and remember details about the person that's following you. The car's make and model, the color, the license plate. Get this valuable information, but don't stare while you're doing it. Now, if you're fully convinced someone's following you, call the police. If you have a passenger with you, have them do it. If you're alone, use hands-free technology or voice commands. If you don't have any of those options, use that car wash trick from earlier. You can call the cops while you're stopped there. Main thing, don't use the phone while you're driving. Once online with the police, they'll try to determine your location. They might ask you to drive a bit slower to help the process. Try to stick to one street. Aimless driving will make it harder for them to find you. Now is the time when your eagle eye is useful. Give all the info on the car that you got earlier. Try to remember as many details as possible. When you can't call anybody, find the closest police station. Your pursuer probably won't follow you to the station, but they might be brave enough. Park there and stay in your car until you see some officers come out. They can escort you inside. You can do the same at a hospital or fire station. Those are usually well-secured and more likely to scare the guy away. Your last option is a popular convenience store or gas station. Once stopped, you can make a call or ask the employees to. The worker will know the store's address, so the cops will know exactly where to go. In the worst-case scenario, 
the pursuer might try to attack before you can get to safety. If they're tailgating you and keeping a short distance, speed up to a green light and slam the brakes. This will likely damage their car much more than yours. Even if their vehicle isn't rendered immobile, they might be shocked enough that you had the guts to do that, and they'll decide you're not worth the trouble. Now drive to the closest police station or call the police to tell them what happened. Don't try this trick if they were keeping a bigger distance. Their car will hit yours harder. If you can't pull off that maneuver, try to go to a road that has as many cars as possible. Now, whatever your follower will try to do, they'll likely hit some other car around, and that'll get more attention. When you finally get rid of your pursuer, don't immediately assume everything is safe or that you can go home now. Even if you were able to shake them off, it's better to drive a few minutes around the neighborhood just to be sure that the bad guy didn't come back. It's also a good idea to call the police even if you were able to get rid of the car yourself. You never know if they'll come back. If you're a pedestrian being followed by a car, go to a well-populated area, get inside, and call somebody. But if someone's following you on foot, well, that's a topic in another video. Stay safe!